But the greatest blessing of all is Allah's pleasure. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being pleased with you. You know, Imam al-Shafi rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, and I, I want to show of heads here, how many of you were born Muslim? How many of you? All of us were born Muslim. I know we're going to have that uh, answer, but how many of you were born into Muslim families? Raise your hand again, please. Everyone raise your hand that was born into Muslim families. Do you realize how easy you had it? People spend their entire lives trying to find Islam, trying to find meaning and purpose in life. And it was just given to you when you were born. And Imam al-Shafi rahimahullah ta'ala, he has a very beautiful dua. Listen to this dua. This is especially now for those who were born into households of Islam. Qala ya Rabb, razaqtani al-Islam wa lam asharuk. Oh my Lord, you gave me Islam and I didn't even ask you for it. Farzuqni al-Jannah wa an asharuk. So give me Jannah and I'm asking you for it. <laughs> Meaning you were merciful enough to give me Islam without me even having to ask you for it. So give me Jannah while I'm asking you. Certainly you are merciful enough to give me Jannah when I'm asking you for Jannah. Because you gave me the tools to enter Jannah into this world. So Yusuf alayhi salam says, Fatir al-Samawati wal ard The originator of the heavens and the earth. Norman, do you have a good translation for Fatir? Initiator? Ibn Abbas عنه, he says that I didn't understand this word until I saw two Arabs arguing. I saw two Arab men that were very eloquent arguing because sometimes you look at the original Arabic language, they were arguing about who built the well. So one of them says, Ana fatartu. The other one says, Ana hafartu. I was the one that originated it. The other one says, I was the one that dug it. So Fatir is even before creation starts. It's when the plans are still in the works. Yusuf alayhi salam recognizes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't just create in wisdom, but even the planning before the creation is in divine wisdom. And he's acknowledging that trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That this entire time, as these plans were made up for my roller coaster of a life, <laughs> you knew what you were doing. You knew what you were doing with the creation of the heavens and the earth, and that is far greater than my creation. I love this. He says, You are my guardian in this life and the next. What's Yusuf alayhi salam saying? Look, everyone else at one point in my life was taken away from me. My family was taken away from me. My friends were taken away from me. My, you know, everything was taken away from me. But you were always there. You were always there. The Prophet he had to live this the, the, the most difficult fashion. He was born and his dad was already dead. Then his mom died when he was six. Then his grandfather who was taking care of him died when he was eight. Then his uncle died. Then the Prophet ﷺ gets married and his first two children die. And then the Prophet ﷺ's uncle who's taking care of him, he dies as well. And then the Prophet ﷺ's wife, who was the last person he had, dies three days after that. And then the Prophet ﷺ's other children from that woman, they die as well. Everyone's taken away from him. Everyone. Why? So that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could, could teach him to be dependent emotionally, physically, spiritually, and mentally only on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because if your heart is tied to anyone else, that person might be taken away from you one day. May Allah protect our families. And may Allah protect our beloved ones. But it's, it's a reality that we could lose them one day. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always there. You know something? I'm going to share with you something deeply personal. There is one of my, someone that I consider a teacher and his son is very close to me and some of you might derive who I'm talking about, I'm not going to mention names, but someone who was recently freed uh, from prison from an unjust situation and his father remains in prison, a political prisoner, unjustly, politically imprisoned. And he is in a terrible situation, a alim, a scholar, for no injustice of his own just because a dictator took that country and threw people into prison. This man used to have 30 minutes of visitation with his family once a month. That's all, 30 minutes. He's in solitary confinement three weeks a month. And he would have visitation with his family once a month for 30 minutes. When his son got out and his son is politically active, they took away his 30 minutes from him to punish him. And he wrote a letter to his family and he said that every month when that appointed time comes, that 30 minutes, 
he said, instead of going to the place where I used to meet your mom, he said, I read Surah Yusuf. That's all I have for myself. Every month at that time, when I'm supposed to meet you, when I used to be ready to meet you, I just open the Quran and I read Surah Yusuf. And that's the only thing that can relieve my heart of this burden. That this is a man who had everything taken away from him. <clears throat> and all he asked Allah for, anta wali fi dunya wal akhirah. You are my wali, you are my guardian in this world and the next. Tawaffani musliman wal hiqni Let me die as a Muslim. 